a spicy and pricey relationship with a family chef, a potential break of the bro code, and an affair that meant no disrespect. Stay tuned to get all the facts about athletes who treat their significant others like trash. Stefan Marbury's NBA career began in 1996, during which he suited up for multiple teams before he ended up playing ball in China. According to the New York Post, it was revealed that Marbury had an extramarital affair with personal chef Thorea Mitchell in 2006 when he was playing for the Knicks. When the athlete no longer needed her services, he let her go and offered her nearly $1 million to keep their affair quiet. However, when Mitchell only received $600,000 of her payment, she went to an arbitrator and was granted the rest of her payment. The affair was discussed in Season 5 of VH1's Basketball Wives, when Marbury's wife Tasha Marbury was introduced to the group of women as a new cast member. After doing some research on Tasha and her marriage, cast member Susie Ketchum asked Tasha whether the story of the affair was true or not. Yeah, it was a true, it's a true story. Sorry. It's okay. It happened, it's over with, it's in the past. Despite it all, Tasha and Stefan are still together as of this video. Country singer Jana Kramer's six-year marriage to former NFL player Mike Cawson was not an easy one. A year after the two wed in 2015, Us Weekly reported that Cawson was unfaithful, having cheated with multiple women, and that he'd sought help for sex addiction. Although he started rehabilitation in 2016, Cawson admitted that it hadn't been a smooth process, saying on their podcast, Wind Down with Jana Kramer, Yeah, we've been through some so that's why even though I've been in the program coming on three years, I'm a year sober. Kramer, who shares two children with Cawson, stated that her husband had relapses but did not engage in physical intimacy with anyone, and the couple renewed their vows in 2017. However, in April 2021, Kramer shared on Instagram that they were done for good, with Us Weekly revealing that he had cheated on her again. In July, Kramer announced that the former couple were legally divorced, writing, "'Today has not been easy, and I didn't know if I would even say anything. If I'm honest, I had no idea how I would feel. Relieved? Sad? But I got the final call that I'm officially divorced and the tears came." Iggy Azalea and former Los Angeles Lakers player Nick Young made headlines when he popped the question on his 30th birthday in 2015. Not even a year into their engagement, a video emerged in March 2016 of Young admitting to his teammate D'Angelo Russell about cheating on Azalea with a 19-year-old. Billboard asked Azalea about the incriminating video, and she shared that she was skeptical about whether Young was telling the truth or lying to his teammate in an attempt to sound cool. However, that June, it was all over for the couple, after Azalea told her Twitter followers that she saw Young bringing women over on their home security cameras. She tweeted, "'This is just like the second shot to the chest, and I feel like I don't even know who the hell it is I've been loving all this time.'" According to Us Weekly, it was rumored that Young got his ex-girlfriend Kiana Green pregnant while he was engaged to Azalea. The exes fully rekindled their relationship and welcomed their second child in 2016 and had a third in 2019. That same year, the athlete announced that they were engaged. In 2014, former NFL player Hank Baskett found himself having to explain to his then-wife Kendra Wilkinson that he had an affair, which was made even worse by the fact that Wilkinson was pregnant with the couple's second child at the time. Baskett aired out his dirty laundry to people when he shared that he went to the home of a transgender model and had a brief encounter with her. He explained, I didn't engage in anything. It was like a bank robbery. I don't know if it was a couple of seconds or 15 seconds because all I was saying was, get out, get out, get out. The model, who was revealed to be Ava Sabrina London, detailed a different and more graphic affair with Basket while speaking to the National Enquirer. Whatever actually took place, Hank and Kendra remained together. Wilkinson gave birth to their daughter, and they worked through their issues on WeTV's marriage boot camp, Reality Stars. However, it all came to an end in April 2018 when the Girls Next Door star filed for divorce. According to Us Weekly, the couple shares joint custody of their two children. In 2012, NBA great Shaquille O'Neal published his memoir, Shaq Uncut, My Story, which not only talked about his rise to stardom and his many accomplishments in basketball, but also his infidelities against his ex-wife Shawnee O'Neal, who he'd been married to from 2002 to 2009. What may have baffled fans reading Shaq's memoir is that the NBA legend not only admitted to his wrongdoings towards his ex-wife, but that he stated that he did not cheat on her, quote, disrespectfully. The superstar unpacked this idea in the book, saying, "'At one time, my ex-wife Shawnee and I were happy, but I admit it, I was a guy. I was a guy with too many options. Choosing to be with some of those women, well, that's on me. In my mind, I never did it disrespectfully, but obviously, I should have never done it at all.'" According to People, Shaq had initially filed for divorce in 2007, but the couple reconciled until Shawnee decided it was time to call it quits two years later. Although they are no longer together, they remain on good terms. He always tells me he wants to have more kids, so I'm like, well, 
knock yourself out because, uh, you know, have, have a good time with that one. In February 2014, sports news site Jocks and Stiletto Jill broke the news that former Indiana Pacers star Paul George was going to be a father after he was involved with a stripper in Miami named Daniela. The only problem was that George was in a relationship with Callie Rivers, the daughter of then-head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers, Doc Rivers. George did not deny the rumors and told TMZ Sports, "'If and when there is legal confirmation that I am the father, I will fully embrace my responsibilities.'" His relationship with Callie ended following reports that George had offered Daniela $1 million to abort the baby. According to the New York Post, a paternity test proved that George was the father, and Daniela took the athlete to court after he refused to take part in their daughter's life. However, the two quite literally settled out of court and became a long-standing item. In 2018, Daniela welcomed another daughter, and in 2021, the couple welcomed a son. Interestingly, George was traded to the Clippers in 2019, where ex-father-in-law Doc Rivers was still head coach. But in 2021, Rivers became head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. As for Callie, she married NBA player Seth Curry, the brother of Stephen Curry, in September 2019. From the late 90s to the early 2000s, Stone Cold Steve Austin took the professional wrestling world by storm. However, his personal life began to overshadow his successful career when he was arrested in 2002 for assaulting his third wife, Deborah Marshall. The couple tied the knot in 2000, but MTV reported that their marital bliss ended in June 2002 when San Antonio police found Marshall with a swollen eye and cheek and bruises on her body. Austin was not at the scene, with the Associated Press reporting that he turned himself into police in August. As reported by Entertainment Weekly, Austin was put on probation at a subsequent hearing. He also paid a fine and did 80 hours of community service. The wrestler filed for divorce in July 2002. Speaking to Fox News, Marshall shared that the WWE tried to hide the alleged abuse so as not to tarnish Austin's reputation. She said, "...they put a gag on me for a year that I couldn't talk about this because they knew that I could totally bring down their top star." Austin married his fourth wife, Kristen Ferez, in 2009, with Power Sports stating in 2020 that Ferez helped him in getting his life back on track. Former New York Giants star Tiki Barber and his wife Tracy Lynn Johnson have been together since 2012, but their relationship has come under some scrutiny. In 2010, it was revealed by the New York Post that Barber had left his first wife of 11 years for Johnson, while his wife was eight months pregnant with their twins. According to Us Weekly, Barber and his first wife, Jenny Cha, tied the knot in 1999 and welcomed two sons in 2002 and 2004. However, in April of 2010, news broke that he had an affair with the much younger Johnson who was working as an NBC intern. Cha gave birth to twin daughters that May, with the New York Post revealing that Barber was not allowed in the delivery room. According to the Daily Mail, days after his divorce from Cha was finalized, Barber married Johnson in New York City. Since tying the knot, the couple has welcomed two daughters, and Johnson joined the cast of Bravo's The Real Housewives of New Jersey. NBA star Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian's relationship has made constant headlines because of the athlete's numerous infidelities. The pair began dating in 2016, and a year later, the reality star announced on Instagram that she was pregnant. However, not everything was smooth sailing, as TMZ reported that Thompson had cheated on Kardashian with multiple women throughout her pregnancy. Just days after she was to give birth to their daughter, he was seen with another woman. According to Us Weekly, in February 2019, Kardashian faced another heartbreak when Thompson cheated on her again with Jordan Woods, half-sister Kylie Jenner's best friend. It came as a shock to the Kardashian family, but she spoke about it during their 2021 Keeping Up With The Kardashians reunion. I forgive Jordan, but because or else I would be a prisoner in my life. I have to forgive these people for me. She also appeared to make amends with Thompson, but their relationship came to a standstill when it was discovered in December 2021 that he had yet another affair with a woman named Marilee Nichols and that she was pregnant with his child. When a paternity test proved that Thompson was the dad, he publicly apologized to Kardashian in an Instagram story, stating, "'You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.